Hi, my name is Marianne Anderson. I'm a haematologist here at Peter McCallum and uh, the Royal Melbourne Hospital. I've got a special interest in chronic lymphocytic leukaemia. So for the majority of people with CLL, uh, this is, I think of it as a disease like having high blood pressure or diabetes. It's a disease that for most people, it cannot be eradicated. So it's something that they will live with for the rest of their lives. However, it's often a disease that many people die with rather than die of. That's not to say it can't be life-threatening and it can't be very serious indeed. But for many patients, it is one of their other health problems. It's in the mix of health problems rather than being the major issue that they have. And as I say, you know, there are many people that we follow for many, many years who never actually require therapy for their CLL because it never causes them a problem. That's why genetic testing has been a real breakthrough in the last decade or so because it enables us to much more accurately pick the patients in whom the disease is likely to be indolent and also to pick the, patient in whom, the patients in whom the disease is less likely to be indolent so that we can stratify those patients for different intensities of follow-up and um, eventually for different types of treatment.